I learned something oh, new yeah. today. <laughs> you can have fire nados. You can have you can have your whole own little weather system from a fire. Absolutely, that's crazy to think about. I mean, if you think about it, it's basically like a little mini atmosphere on steroids, because you, you think about our sea breeze, okay? Mm -hmm. Warm air rises, mm -hmm. and then you start to get those thunderstorms. Warm air is rising so rapidly, you can't That's even so keep true. up. So you're getting this little mini system going on. That's just, and then you get the winds blowing. If I would have known this was, I should have read the story <laughs> before this. I would have made you guys it, a graphic. Pull the string, <laughs> so wind her up, and let Letting it go. You. <laughs> All right, let's. <laughs> Let's talk about the rain here today. Yeah, fires are just, you know, it's interesting because we talk about which way the winds are blowing when there are fires around, brush fires to say, okay, who's in line? But then you get those systems making their own weather systems and they get their own winds. And that's why it can be really hard for those firefighters to control those fires. Thankfully, we're not going to hopefully have a quiet brush fire season in a couple of months because we know how saturated everything is. It is so saturated. You get a good downpour and things are just piling up. It's been very wet the past couple of weeks and it's going to be kind of a wet week as well. We're finally drying out after some late evening thunderstorms and they really had some good downpours around the region. Tomorrow we're going to do it again and then we're going to do it again the next day. Going through the next 48 hours we are going to see some afternoon storms develop. No real surprises here. This is the typical afternoon thunderstorm setup with a little extra uh, moisture in place to give us some more thunderstorms throughout the evening with some heavy downpours. This is tomorrow at 1:30. We are just seeing some isolated showers but similar to today Day. We'll have some big downpours kind of stick around late into the evening. This is 430, kind of drier, closer to the coastlines. Not completely. There's still some isolated storms around there, but we still have those big downpours for Glades, Hendry County, where we have them today. This looks similar, right? By 630, not as intense as far as the gusty winds or the lightning, but the heavy rain has just kind of expanded as the intensity tries to diminish and gets a little bit closer to the coastlines again. So Lehigh, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, North Fort Myers, all getting some late evening or post sunset rain, I should say. And then it slowly fades away by nine o'clock. Still some lingering showers for tomorrow. Wednesday, same story, but we're dialing back on the coverage just a little bit on Wednesday, even though it's still going to be raining cats and dogs in a lot of places. This this is 430 on Wednesday, isolated showers, maybe a few hours later, but we still get those big downpours generally east. They start to lose their intensity, move closer to the coastlines, but we still have that late evening lingering rain, but maybe not as many areas on Wednesday. The coverage of the rain will continue to dial back just a little bit by the end of the week and into the weekend, but the pattern itself will continue with afternoon storms. We talked about tropical Francine not going to impact us. It's going to take a ride with a trough and head off to the north and it will impact Louisiana in a big way. What's down the line? This is the peak of hurricane season. This area in orange chances for development have gone down just a little bit to 40% still watching at 70% over the next week for this area just behind it. These are just tropical disturbances, a lot of convection going on. Where would this one go if it does develop starting to take a curve to the north at this time? No threat to Southwest Florida, no threat to Florida, nothing to be concerned about right now. It's the peak of hurricane hurricane season tune back in every day see how things have been adjusted and stay on top of things so it's now it will just be rainy every afternoon for the next seven days temperatures are going to stay into the low 80s by first thing tomorrow morning and then mid to upper 80s even before the lunch hour we'll top out at 92 scattered storms will be there here the next seven days rain chances do go down just a bit but they're still there 40 percent for friday and into the weekend that's your look at your forecast we'll be right back after this